Hello and welcome to the Analytics video tutorials. My name is Sebastian and today we will talk about how to set up Analytics Automation and Analytics View. First of all, we will start with our homepage to download the software. This bar we type in phoenixcontact.com And I will now switch to a homepage with an English language, let's say UK. Okay, and now I search for ILC 2050 BI. Doesn't matter which one you will choose um, because we will see the same structure. So what we see here is the ILC 2050 BI controller of um, our analytics. The most important chapters here are, first of all, the download section and the accessories. Let's first of all have a look about the accessories. This is for example is the NC4 demo, demo um, license. This one we need for analytics automation or better said the Niagara framework itself, uh, which we extended with a lot of functionalities and call it analytics automation. And um, this is our engineering license for our notebook. Okay, but also we have here a lot of modules we can connect to our controller like communication modules you see here is a lot of flexibility for the controller. So let's go on with downloads. The most important sections here for us are application nodes. You see some security nodes. You see how we can work with KNX tunneling. What is it exactly? SMS communication. If the customer project requires SMS communication, and the interfaces document is very interesting to plan a project. Let's have a look inside. We see this picture here. And we can see directly, let's say we want to connect MBUS modules. We see, okay, we can connect MBUS with a special MBUS card and we can connect 1 to 30 MBUS devices to one card. So let's go on. We have an analytics installation guide, how to install and set up, how to install and update analytics. We have also a lot of quick starts here, a lot of FAQs about licensing, how to getting started with the controller. We have um, software right here and also the software archive. So let's have a look inside the software. We have here the newest analytics version and this is the Niagara version itself without the extra functionalities of analytics automation. So let's download analytics. And in between, we can have a look about the software archive. Here we can see a lot of older versions of analytics as well as Niagara. What we also find underneath downloads is the configuration software. It's called Project Plus. Let's have a look inside. With this tool, you can configure the cabinet and you will see where to place, let's say, a digital input module or an analog output module. And you will see which order will be the best for the terminals. As our download is now complete, we will go to the setup. First of all, we have to consider where to install the setup. We will log into Emalytics with our Windows user and Windows password. When this Windows user is managed by the IT. It could be that it's a domain user and this domain user 
connection from Analytics with the Windows user could be blocked over the IT as well. Long term short, if you have a do Windows domain user, we propagate to use a virtual machine or an external engineering notebook which is not managed over the IT. We now make sure that we start the setup with administrator permissions. We select the language. This is the installation and update guide we've already seen on the home page. The interesting thing is all documents which are on the home page, as soon as you install the analytics setup, you have them offline with you all the time. They are installed after the installation, they are all on your computer offline. At this point, we clarify that we installed Analytics with admin rights directly under our home or our main drive and then Phoenix contact and not underneath the user. We now define the passphrase. This is when we want to copy a station from one workbench to another workbench or from, from one controller to another controller. Then each time we will be asked for the passphrase if the passphrase of the one system and another system is different. So it would be helpful if my team or my project, everybody has the same passphrase. We have to make sure that we don't forget this very passphrase here because anywhere else we can't copy this station to any other place like our colleagues workbench or a controller. We now can create shortcuts and we will now install and start the platform daemon so the service which runs in the background not the workbench. Okay, and now we will restart the computer. Now, first of all, let's have a look. When we go to Windows Start, scroll down to Analytics. I have several of Analytics versions already installed. Let's have a look here. Here we have our workbench tool. We have our manuals. We have, it's a so-called inspector, where we can see which version did, do we have now on our workbench system. So what kind of libraries are installed and so on. Let's have a look inside the manuals. Those manuals are a little bit separated. All those manuals here, which begin with doc, they are for the workbench itself. Then we have here a lot of analytics documents. First of all, we see some documents which start with doc, but then analytics. Those are for drivers in the workbench itself. But here, analytics documents describe the analytics system in total. So this is, this is a little more like just the workbench. Well, let us now license the system. First of all, we go and open the workbench itself. And we now receive this host ID and we copy this text here. And we now order a license for this host ID. For engineering purposes, we will definitely need the NC4 demo license, which is for the analytics automation or Niagara workbench, which is extended by all analytics functionalities. And then if needed, the analytics view NDA engineering license. When we ordered those licenses, we will receive an email with licensing files. When we received this email, we can just exit here, 
make a double click again. Because I have an internet connection, you will see that in a few seconds, um, the analytics automation will ask the server for the license. And because I ordered the license before and already paid for it, and I told the sales what kind of host ID I have for what kind of engineering license, my system is already licensed and I can just click through. If I have no internet connection, I will get an email from Phoenix Contact and with this email I will receive licenses. And those licenses I will copy to the following part. My drive, Phoenix Contact, my analytics version. I go to the supervisor into security and drag and drop those licenses directly inside this folder. For me it happened now automatically from the server because I have a free internet connection which is not blocked by any firewall. To finish this tutorial we will now check if we can open the platform of the computer. This for this is my host and when we make a right click here we can choose the option open platform. We now have a TLS connection we don't have to change anything here. Also the port we don't have to, to change. We just say OK. And now here's my Windows user and Windows password I have to type in. We have to consider that my Windows user, I see here when I look for users and I look for my Windows user, is not the real Windows username. The real, real Windows username I will see when I open the command and I type in who am I. And this is my real Windows user. So I see here, I can log into my platform, I see my platform, I can open the application director. This should be empty at your side. If you now still can't log inside, please check if you have a domain user here. If you have Maybe your VPN tunnel is not connected and so your IT mostly blocks the connection of this Windows user or maybe your IT blocks all external Windows user connections. And then like I told you should consider a virtual machine or an external engineering notebook which is not managed by the IT. Thanks for your attention. See you next time.